Alright, hello again guys, welcome back. We are it's just teleported back to Castle Town. So uh, from here we're just gonna go up to the castle and see what is going on. I don't remember where we go from here now that we have the Beanstar chunks, but uh I guess we're probably about to get told, so let's find out together, hmm? Shiver it. Yeah. Imitation star. Ah, uh, yes, the second suitcase. Alright. Oh, get it. Oh man, inflation in the Mushroom Kingdom is absurd. It's like as bad as it is in Japan. Or did they have deflation for a while? I can't remember. Japan had some economical problems. Or something. Anyways, like... 10,000 yen? It's like a... Like a hundred dollars or something? I don't remember. Frick, man. Frick. You think I know about the global economy? You're dead wrong. First strike helps you walk fast. Hmm. Light gravity. Oh my gosh, Queen Bean jeans. Those seem obnoxiously strong. I mean, giving us an extra 14 health is pretty ridiculous. So, um, let's just get two pairs of those. Honestly, I mean, walking quicker and having first strike might be cool. But, uh, I really don't think it competes with an extra 14 health and a higher defense. Oh! Oracle Badge might be good for Luigi. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Lucky attacks. Incre increased frequency of lucky hits. Eh. Eh, I say. Beauty Badge. Delicious. Tracks monsters that have items, and raises our power. Power defense. A mystic badge from Gwafaf Ruins. Opa badge? Um. Oh my gosh, adds a 13 defense and power D? I mean 13 attack, excuse me. <laughs> An amazing badge dug up behind the shop. Why the frick didn't I just dig it up? That is too much of... Like a massive a boost to the attack power to just completely avoid that. Uh, I don't know what we want to swap one out for Luigi. We're going to keep his um, Bros Rock because it gives him so much, uh, so many Bros points. And I really like. Let's sell that. Sell that. We'll keep that. Candies. Um, just the amount of bros points that Luigi gets from his badge is kind of too much to pass up. Because, um, at least for me, I find myself doing the best with, uh, gosh, knockback bros. If the special ability on knockback bros, I do a lot of damage with, so I'm just going to keep rocking that. 
Um, for now, let's head over to the beach and hopefully not get ambushed by this lac. Well, frick. I'll say let's avoid this lac too, but we all see how that worked out. Sprint. Sprint, boys! Okay, nice. Now, supposedly, there is something down here at this beach. Something at the beach that will help us. Help us with the camera skills. Get attacked by a bomb. Totally did not see him. Let's keep using Thunder Bros a bit. Um, we still don't have the advanced techniques, so... We'll keep using that. Um... I kind of want to keep doing Fire Bros as well, just so I can get the advanced technique to show you guys what it is. I don't remember what it is, and I don't remember if I ever got it, but I obviously never used it very much if that's the case. So, uh, you know, not too worried about it. I want to do it just for the sake of knowledge, but I don't feel like I need it in order to use. Oh, pfft. That's really sucky. Basically nothing to do about that. Hmm. I think, honestly, we might be able to upgrade our hammers again at this point. I think now is the time. Get away from me! Least favorite enemy in all the Marios. Oh my gosh. Like, the original Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros, you... Everything. Hate these guys. Oh my gosh, please no. We ought to save at some point. Because I haven't saved since we started the last video. Nice, we did. Okay, sweet. Super teamwork. And the golden hammers! Ultra hammer! Gold. Straight up. Smashing dark blocks. Start new minigames. And, uh... Let's just go for the one down the middle. Oh wait, I remember now. There is a thing. So we're gonna do this until we get the thing. So we've got stupid amounts of money, I think. We're just gonna go down the middle every single time. All right, screwed. Oops. Yes, there is a thing you can get from these. And I want it. I want it bang. Brick! <laughs> struggling, guys. I'm struggling. I've got a better controller than before, but I'm still having many problems. Come on, incredible treasure. Mamma mia! It can only take so many tries before we get this. Or we'll go broke. I don't even care. Let's do the right again. Yes, there it is. Secret scroll number two. Oh yeah. That's right. That is what we're looking for. How much money do we have? Twenty-two hundred. I think that's enough for Mario as well. I don't remember what these abilities are. Um, so we will be testing them out in battle, right after we can find the other one. Oh lord. Well, on the bright side, this one's significantly cheaper. I have a feeling it's in the right. I was wrong! <laughs> this is why my past relationships never worked out. I'm always wrong. Oh, for Pete's sake. I wonder if which ones are designated, like, 
the money, the scroll, and then nothing is chosen beforehand, or if it's chosen at the time you hit it. Because if it's chosen beforehand, then there's only a 1 in 3 chance for you to get nothing. And I've been getting nothing. A lot more than 1 in 3 chance. Like, at getting nothing the first time is a 33% chance, but getting nothing twice in a row would be like an 11% chance, and after that it's like a 3.66% chance. Okay, there we go. I'm fine with that. Alright, so all in all, I think that was pretty unlucky, but I don't even care because we made it happen eventually, which is good enough for me. So, let's... Gosh. How do we surf, though? I mean, we have our upgraded hammers. Oh! Yes, now I remember. Okay, we're good. We're, we're good. We're good, guys. You'll see. You'll see. You'll, we're good. You'll wait. You'll wait. Yeah. Get away from me, you criminal! <laughs> I don't want this harassment. I don't want none of your sass. None of your infinite enemy spawning. None of your garbage. Eh. Okay, nice. Oh gosh, freaking turtles. 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 Okay. We have done it. We have made it to the thing. And, uh, the moment of truth. You can smash Luigi into a freaking surfboard, guys! Yeah, buddy! Boom! Four coins. Boom! Two coins. Oh. I see you. Don't think I don't. Boom! Three coins. Boom! Two coins. Quickly making back that several thousand dollars we just spent. What is this business? Oh. That's this business. Um. That's not good. We don't want to be here. Um, Alright. We'll derp around and explore the ocean another time. For now, let's just make our way over to Wit's End. I don't remember if there are secrets hidden underneath the shells and stuff. Um, any underground secrets where you have to bury Luigi and then dig him up to get a bean or whatever, you can find by making Mario small. So we could find that out pretty easily, but again, we're just gonna make our way over to Wit's End. Or Joke's End, excuse me. Pretty sure it's just off to the right. I mean, let's pick up let's pick up some balloons as we make our way over there. But we're not gonna go out of our way to explore everything. I don't know where that is. Oh, it's OG Island, I think it is. Well, this honestly kind of reminds me of Pokemon Ruby. Um, I love that game. I had that game, I beat it several times, I had loaned it to my friend Brian. And, uh, you know how loaning games when you're in middle school goes, you don't see that trash ever again. So, I uh, never got it back. But, I think I'd like to play that on the channel maybe sometime. If you guys be interested in that, just let me know. Um, I think Pokemon Ruby, for me... Um, is where the series got good. Uh, I was, like, a kid young enough to, like, have it be socially acceptable to play Pokemon games and stuff when they started coming out. Uh, but what is this? This is something special, is it not? So, um, I've been playing Pokemon games since they first came out. I had a bunch of cards when I was a kid. What the heck? Oh. So, like a surf race? Let's not do that. Um, anyways, I played the first Pokemon game. I had Pokemon Red, my sister got Blue, and then I later got Pokemon Yellow. And then my sister had Pokemon Silver? I didn't have a second generation Pokemon game. And I never really played Silver. And then, um... I got Ruby after that, and my sister kind of stopped playing him at that point. And Ruby, for me, 
like, after playing Ruby, I went back and tried to play yellow version, or not yellow, um, just the regular one, and you move around so slowly. Like, it's ridiculous. The walking speed in that game is just obnoxious. And, uh, in Ruby, you get running shoes, like, at the very start of the game, so pretty awesome. So if I was to go back and play a Pokemon game at this point, I don't think I could make it through red or blue. I think I would probably die of walking impatience. But, um, Ruby... Ruby would be absolutely doable. So, um, yeah, I guess this is a very long-winded way of saying, if you guys would be interested in that sort of thing, just leave a comment or anything, and I might look into it. I mean, we already got the Game Boy Advance going, so it would be no problem at all to get that game rolling. Oh, praise the Lord, a freaking warp pipe. Jokes in, we have made it, officially. And let's get into it a bit. Um, yeah, let's, let's start making our way through Jokes End. Jojora? Alright. I'm a buddy of the cousin of the descendant of the spirit who wants to go to this place. Go nuts! Hmm. From that sentence, I'm starting to think maybe I just didn't like this place because it was hard, but that's not generally my style. If I enjoy a game, I kind of like it when the game gets harder because it's like, alright, nice, this game's ramping it up. And then if I like the game, that means I enjoy the gameplay, and if the gameplay gets harder, that means I have to try more to be better at a thing I like. That's pretty much the definition of enjoyment. If everything just comes supernatural all the time, you kind of get bored after a while, you know? Oh, what is this? This guy try to counter you when you jump? Oh my gosh. Oh, sweet. And we have gold hammers. Oh my gosh. Holy dumping butts. Yep, you can die. And you can die! Oh, Poison Cloud! No. No, I don't want it. Hand powers? Yep. Oh my gosh, that was 206 even without getting, like, the flawless battle? Um, Luigi could use some health. Eh. Eh. Oh, that's right, the freaking vat of evil soup. I don't remember Jojora, or who she is, or what she does, or anything about her. Save blocks everywhere, and like, look how big this place is. It's gonna be a freaking three video dungeon up in this business. Choke broth soup, do not boil. Oh. <gasps> no, please! So, yeah, we gotta make our way down to the basement. Yeah, make our way down to the basement. Uh oh, freaking. Uh, turtle, fuck, <laughs> turtle, please, no. Ho! Cyclone Bros. Oh my gosh, cost eight road points? Let's do it on this clump. Oh, you can cycle between enemies with that. Swing bros? I effed it up. I effed it up on the easiest possible way. Holy dumps. Holy dumps. So quick. Um, alright. Cyclone Bros is B and then A a thousand times? So let's just do that on you. 
You can rotate between enemies with this as well. So we hit everyone a little bit there. Not that good. Um, swing bros, I didn't perform properly the first time. Um, did I perform that wrong? I think I did it wrong again. Holy crap, we're about to die on our next hit. <laughs> That's like, um... Oh my gosh! The battle with Queen Bean. Oh no. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the battle with Queen Bean. She has that attack, does she not? It probably does a lot of damage at this point. Alright, Mario. Let's do some swing bros here. Oh. I suck at swing bros. Oh, I suck at Mario Bros. Ho! I pressed the button. We're about to die, aren't we? It's Gigi Naps. No. Oh. It's our first. Our first Gigi Nubs. Well, considering I suck, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video, um, which will not be coming up immediately soon. That's okay. Um, and let's see if we can't make our way through Jokes End. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this, and uh, you all have a great weekend. I will see you soon, and I love you. Good night.